Hello everyone. This is Dr. Mitesh Gala. Welcome to Rough Talk, a learning companion. Hi all. Today we are going to talk about something really important, something which is belonging to your time and age. Your time and age. I mean to say, what is this age called as? This age is called as digital marketing age or digital age. And in digital age, the most important weapon is statistics. So we are going to talk about statistics. Statistics is basically organizing the data in a proper format, applying some calculation tests or cal statistical test in order to understand the trend of the data, and finally representing the data in a graphical form. Yeah. Now, statistics basically has three major departments. The first department, as you can see on the screen right over there, is tabulation. The second one you will see is calculation, and the third one you are going to see is graphical representation. All three very very important. In this topic of yours, we are going to talk about calculation and the three departments of calculation. Now, the basic statistical tests are called as measures of central tendency, and then there are many more different statistical tests. So, first, let's understand what are these measures of central tendency. So, the first test that we talk about is right over there. Your yeah, that is called as mean. The second one is the median. and the third one is the mode right over here all these three are very very important tests because they give us the trend of the data that we are trying to analyze all these three together combined are called as measures of central tendency there are many more statistical tests for example quartiles deciles percentiles then uh, even anova and cova but all those are very difficult ones and right now we don't need to get into it right now we need to understand only these three order that the first one mean has different ways of calculating mean which we will right now understand and learn it in the first exercise of chapter 24 measures of central tendency so come on let's begin with exercise 24 and calculate mean so today we are getting into mean that is a part of statistics exercise 24a this is one of the most important topics why is this most the most important topic the reason is in the boards every year we see one question on mean and one question on median question on mean is usually for 4 marks and median is usually for 6 marks so 10 marks straight away from this question chapter minimum apart from that sometimes we see one more question on mode as well so 14 marks so a very important topic especially for the children who are not able to do very well you should look at this chapter very very interestingly and i am 100% sure i am going to make this very simple for you so once you go through the video you will be able to really rock this chapter so don't worry now what are we going to study in this topic we are going to study how to calculate mean now calculating mean there will be three different methods all right the first one direct method second one called as assumed mean method or it is also called as shortcut method shortcut method and the third method is called as step deviation method step deviation method so three methods to calculate mean we'll try and understand how to calculate mean by all the three methods and then after that we'll see one missing variable or one missing frequency how to calculate and two missing frequencies how to calculate so basically we are going to understand five major components in this video number one calculating mean by three different methods direct assumed mean or also called as shortcut both are one and the same and the third one is step deviation method once you are done with this three then we will understand how to find out one missing frequency and how to find out two missing frequencies so all this is what we are going to understand in this video uh before we go ahead if you remember i showed you just some time back that data can be presented in three methods the first method is right over here we are going to use exercise 24a so i'm just showing you the pages in case if you want to take a screenshot this is 24a part first page and this is the second page so just take a screenshot in case if you don't have the textbook so we are hitting with some number 1 Uh, in the entire exercise you will see only two types of data the first one raw data second one ungrouped distribution table the grouped one is in the next exercise so right now we'll work on these two calculate the mean of this it's very simple come on pause the video everyone knows this is standard 11 sorry standard 9 question 
so you are just going to add all of them and then divide by the number of observations so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 observations let's add 8 plus 10 16 20 30 so 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so 120 by 8 so my mean should be 15 units how many hands go up yeah, this is very simple don't don't really get too excited about it because such type will never come in the exam the next one one missing variable now this is not the one which i was telling you this is the easier one because this is raw data so let's calculate the mean is already given let's calculate the missing variable so it is going to be 6 plus 4 7 8 10 1 2 3 4 5 so divided by 5 so 8 into 5 6 plus 4 10 20 27 plus a this is going to be 40 minus 27 becomes a so your a becomes 13 simple how many of you all managed to get this 20 30 40 yeah correct easy let's go with the next one now it is what we are going to do the first type that is the direct variable direct method to calculate mean so you will have the data in the form of frequency and the table so this is called as distribution but which one ungrouped distribution table because there is no group over here okay so the first one we did was raw data that is right over here now we are getting into ungrouped frequency distribution table we call this as f and we call this as x how are you going to calculate very simple just multiply f with x in each column okay in each row add the entire column whatever answer you get divide by the total of frequencies so basically your formula for mean which we call it as x bar is going to be summation summation means the total of fx by summation of f so total of fx divided by total of f is going to give you the mean okay so let's calculate 12 into 2 24 13 into 4 52 12 yeah 14 6 are, i don't know how much 24 6 84 is it 8 6 are 24 yeah 15 9 are 135 16 8 are 128 i guess 17 7 are 49 11 so 119 is it correct 7 7 are 49 so 4 7 are 7 plus 4 11 4 8 are 32 4 5 6 7 72 yeah let's total all this uh, rechecking 12 2 are 24 13 4 are 52 14 6 are 84 135 128 49 plus 4 11 32 4 5 6 7 correct total the frequency total the fx put the values here calculate them simple come on go ahead pause the video on your own try it 8 10 are pause why are you here 8 10 20 29 34 i get 3 3 plus 2 5 10 18 20 20 30 31 3 4 5 6 i get 6 1 4 okay this side 8 plus 2 10 20 30 40. So I get this as 40. Let me recheck the total on this side 8, 10, 20, 29, 34, 3, 5, 10, 20, 30, 31, 3, 4, 5, 6. Correct. So 6, 1, 4 by 40. Does this go in the table of 4? I don't think so. Let's try yet. So 4 10s are 4 1s are 4 2 21 4 5s are 114 4 3s are 220. So 5. So what will be my final answer 15.35 units how many managed to get the same answer 15.35 units yeah just recheck all the calculations in case if you made any error i'm just trying to check the answer so 24a sum number 7 15.35 we are correct good job guys let's go with the next one we'll take one more question of the same type that is direct method so we are jumping to 11 the sums in between we'll come back to them don't worry because right now i want you to practice first the direct method so again f and x calculate the mean how will you calculate the mean first find fx once you get fx get summation fx summation f and then your mean is going to be summation fx upon summation f come on quickly go ahead pause 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 5 6 are 30 18 210 360 please tell me if i go wrong anywhere huh? 37 into 18 we'll have to calculate this so let me calculate on a rough sheet 37 into 18 856 5 8 24 plus 5 29 7 and 3 so i'll get 6 16 6 you get 666 is it correct 
Let me recheck. 8, 6 are 56, 5, 24 plus 5, 29, 7 and 3, 16, 5 and 1, 6. Correct. 25 into 8. So 25 8s are 200. So 20. 25 3s are 75. So 95. 950. 21 into 39. We'll have to do it. No mental math over here. So 39 into 29. 3 2s are 18. 6 and 1, 7. So 9, 11, 8. So I get 8, 1, 9. Let me recheck. 9, 3, 18, 6 and 1, 7, so 9, 11, 1, 8, correct. 12, 4s are 48, so 480. 8, 1s are 8, 4s are 32. Okay, did you get the same? Great, if not, I will come to know once I get it wrong. Let's check. Total this up, so 10, 21, 22, 30. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I get this 100, wow. So it is going to be very simple to calculate or divide rather. So 8, 9 plus 6, 15, 15 plus 8, 23, so 2, 6, 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 20, 20, 31, 3, 6, 12, 13, 14, 18, 19, 20, 21, 38. So do I get my answer as 38.13? Let me check first. Uh, this is some number 11, 38.1, correct. Did they tell you anything to write into the whole number or cal correct to one decimal place yeah so 3813 divided by 100 so 38.13 one decimal place will be 38.1 they clearly mentioned right up to one decimal place now this is number of matches so right over here match matches 38.1 matches that is the first part of your answer the second part is still left they say determine how many extra matches would have to be added to the total content of 100 boxes to bring the mean exactly up to 39 matches so right now your mean is 38.1 they want to make this as 39 this is the sum of all the matches see let's interpret this this sum rather than just doing it mechanically let's understand there are 35 matches in 6 boxes 10 boxes have 36 matches so whatever number of matches are there that many number of boxes are there when we multiply, we get the total number of matches in 100 boxes. Correct? Now, we want the mean as 39. So, how many number of matches should be here so that you get the mean as 39? So, you say this way. Mean is equal to x, which we don't know, divided by 100 because that is the 100 number of boxes. The mean they said they want as 39. 100 goes up equals to x. So, how many matches should you have? 3,900. How many do you have? 3813. So how many more you need to add? So number of matches to add will be the difference of these two that is going to be 87 matches. Do you understand how to get this answer? This is the real understanding of mean. Here these we have the total matches. If we get these many then the mean becomes 39. So we use this mean as 39 into 100. We got 3900 subtracted. We got the number of matches that we need to add. Clear? Okay. So till now what have we understood? We understood how to calculate mean by direct method. Now we are getting into the second one. Assume mean method or shortcut. The name says assumed mean. That means you are going to assume the mean. Mean we are trying to calculate but we are going to predict what the mean is going to be or rather we are going to assume. So how are we going to work out with the assume mean method or the shortcut method? Both are one and the same. So you are given x and f in some number 15 and they clearly say solve by shortcut method. In the exam if they tell you by shortcut method and you are using any other method getting the answer correct you still entitled to get a 0. Because they have told you to use shortcut method so you are expected to use shortcut method. So under shortcut method or the other name of the method we said is assumed mean method. So mean usually is going to be between the, these numbers this is the range. Okay, so you have to assume your mean anything from these numbers. Usually it is going to be anything around the middle number. So I am predicting that the mean of this data is going to be anything around 45. So 1, 2, 3 up, 1, 2, 3 down. So I take the middle number as mean assumed. So you say A is equal to 45. So D, we are creating a new column which is X minus A. X is this number for this column, this number for the next column row this number for the next row and this number for this row and a is 45 for all the rows so the first one is going to be 40 that is x minus a 45 so 40 minus 45 minus 5 41 minus 45 minus 4 
here I will get minus 2 here 45 minus 45 so 0 because x is also 45 a is also 45 for this row for this row 46 minus 45 so plus 1 4 and 5 so I created my d column how did I create the d column first I assumed the mean because that's what the name is assume mean or shortcut any one name will be given in the exam so 45 you assume and then subtract in each column the particular x ka value with this a which we have assumed so once we get this now create the final column fd f is your frequency d is what you have just achieved so let's let's multiply so 5 4s are 20 i think negative 70 uh, 32 3 8 9 10 11 negative 16 6 and 1 7 negative this is going to be 0 40 80 and 50 add all the negatives add all the positives and then we will subtract in order to get the final answer so let me recheck my calculations 70 is fine uh, 32 4 8 9 10 11 16 7 and 6 and 1 7 40 80 this is fine so this is 8 7 and 14 and 1 15 so 258 negative and here i'll get 120 plus 50 170 correct 8 plus 5 13 plus 4 17 the difference of these two how much so it should be 88 get the total of your frequencies now once you get these two things basically you are supposed to get summation fd and summation of f why because your formula to calculate mean now under this since you subtracted a now we need to reverse this reverse as in minus a will now become plus a so the same formula summation fd by summation f but add a to that since you subtracted a now we are going to add a. is that clear so get these two things put all the values here calculate the mean and get ready let's see how many of you will get this correct come on stop copying now 16 20 so 2 3 4 5 10 14 17 18 19 20 so i get 200 so this is 200 this is negative 88 so 200 is summation fd upon summation sorry 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 my bad summation fd is this and this is summation f correct so summation fd is minus 88 upon 200 and plus a a we have assumed as 45 so let us see what do you get then when i subtract these two 244 times two ones are so 100 so this is going to be decimal so i will get 45 this number minus this 0.44 so my answer should be 44.56 have they told you to round off please check no they have not told they just said find the mean using shortcut method so let us see if our answer is correct this is some number 15 so where are you 15 44.6 did they tell you to round off yeah correct to one decimal place see i have lost a mark here so one decimal place 44.6 how will you convert so if this is more than 5 or 5 add 1 here so we added clear once again let's repeat the entire method very important method 99% in the board you see this or the third method which we are going to do so first thing you need to assume once you assume subtract with the value of x for that row multiply with f to get fd summation fd divided by summation f plus a why plus a because you subtracted so now add so you remember in the start we predicted the mean anything close to 45 is the answer very close yes that means our predictions are not bad let's go to the next question i want everyone to try some number 14 14 is now with the step deviation method so right now we assume the second method assume mean method now we are getting into step deviation method now what is step deviation so the name says deviate one of the steps deviate one of the steps so which step so we are going to start the same way as we did with assume mean so assume a get the column d come on everyone pause your video reach till d then i'll tell you what to do after that so i am assuming 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 so these two are middle numbers always try and take the lower middle number that means whichever is less so that in the end you have to add and not subtract what is that i'll tell you once we finish the question so a is 25 d is x minus a so this minus this minus 20 minus 15 minus 10 minus 5 0 5 10 
15, 20 and 25. Now that you got your D, just look at the D ka pattern. You will see all are multiples of dash, multiples of 5. So to make this even more easier, we are deviating this step. That is why the name step deviation. What are we deviating is we are going to divide each number by 5 so that later on on multiplication, the calculation becomes easier because you will have smaller numbers. See, the magic will happen. Don't worry. So we are getting into another column. We say I as 5 because it, everything is multiple of 5 and we create a new column called as T. So T is D divided by I d divided by i so minus 20 divided by 5 same way and you will see a new pattern being generated numbers being very simple now just find ft now what will you need your calculation for mean the formula now you subtracted a so you will add a you divided by i so you will multiply i now first you divide, first you subtracted, then you divided. So first you will multiply, then you will add. Ulta jana padega, you'll have to go reverse. So it's going to be A plus summation Ft upon summation F into I in bracket. So first multiply, then add. Don't add first, otherwise you will mess up. So I want you to find two things. Number one, get the total of frequencies, get the total of Ft substitute everything here and calculate the value of mean for me come on begin remember you are multiplying f with t f is this call this column as f that is frequencies so i get minus 80 9 4 3 are 12 so minus 129 minus 150 minus 67 0 45 18 6 and 1 7 27 8 4 are 32 and 6 5 are 30 Let's recheck. Always recheck huh? because these are four important marks for us. So 80, 3, 3s are 9, 4, 3s are 12, 7, 150, 67, 0, 45, 9, 78, 27, 32, 30. All good. Let's add these numbers. So I get 9 plus 7, 16, 1 carried over, 8, 10, 21, 22. So 2 carried over, 3, 4. So negative 4, 26. 8, 10, 17, 22, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 21. So the difference is 4, 1 and 2. So negative 2, 1, 4 is what I have got. Let me recheck once for the last time. 9 plus 7, 16, 8, 10, 21, 22, 2, correct. Here 15, 20, 22, 2, 7 plus 8, 15, 21, correct. Difference is 4, 1 and 2. So 2, 1, 4. Let me add this side, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus 7, 15, 20, 30, 40, 54, 5. So 10, 17, 18, 19, 24, 34, 38. So I get 384. Let me recheck this side once again. And when you recheck, no, don't add from there. Because if you made a mistake earlier, same mistake you'll do. Add from bottom. So automatically you'll cross check. So 8 plus 6, 14. 14 plus 9, 23, 32, 32 plus 5, 37, 39, 39 plus 10, 49, 54. So 5 carried, 5, 6, 7, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 plus 10, 28, 38. So 384. Let's substitute the value. So A we assume 25 plus summation FT negative 214 upon 384 multiplied by 5 because I is 5 lots to calculate here so 25 minus plus into minus will become minus let's multiply or let's divide first here only uh, will this both go in 4 no it will go in 2 2 ones are 2 zeros are and 2 sevens are here this is going to be 2 ones are 9 are and 2 twos are probably correct 2 ones are 2 2 nines are and 2 twos are so 192 i can't cancel anything maybe so let's multiply 35 535 divided by 192 so we'll have to actually use some rough page in order to calculate and check if you are doing it correct so shall i do it on this page here yeah this is a waste page so 192 to be divided by 535 lots to calculate i hope we've not gone wrong anywhere let's check so probably three times no two times two to the four can I cancel this with any other number? 107, This is what we get on dividing. So 535 
डिवाइड बाय 192 आई गोट 384 सो 151 आई पुट डेसिमल सेवेन टाइम्स यू जस्ट गो टू वन डेसिमल प्लेस डेट इज अनाफ सो आई गोट 2.7 आई एम नॉट गोइंग फर्दर वी डोंट नीड टू वेस्ट आर टाइम सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी 25 माइनस 2.7 22.3 दे सेड राइट टू द नियरेस्ट होल नंबर सो योर आंसर शुड बी 22 देन सो 22 नथिंग इज गिवन सो राइट इट एस यूनिट्स सो योर आंसर शुड बी 22 नाउ हियर सो मच ऑफ कैलकुलेशन वी डिड या बट स्टिल इन द एंड वी वर नॉट श्योर करेक्ट इमेजिन इफ यू आर नॉट डूइंग दिस मेथड एंड यू आर मल्टीप्लाइंग इट यूजिंग द डायरेक्ट मेथड वुड हैव गॉन क्रेजी सॉल्विंग दिस इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट दैट इज व्हाई स्टेप डिविएशन एंड अज्यूम मीन आर इजीअर मेथड्स सो राइट नाउ वी आर अंडरस्टूड ऑल द थ्री मेथड्स द फर्स्ट मेथड वी अंडरस्टूड वाज डायरेक्ट मेथड द सेकंड मेथड वी अंडरस्टूड इज द अज्यूम मीन एंड नाउ द स्टेप डिविएशन Let's get into one missing frequency and two missing frequencies as well. So the next question I want you to try is sum number nine. This is one missing frequency. Yeah. So use your direct method and you will get the answer direct. Use direct method normally how you calculate mean. And in the question number nine, you already been given the value of mean which is sixty point nine five. So mean is sixty point nine five. Use that get the answer. Assume this as f. This as x. Get fx. If you are still not sure how to do it, I am showing you the trick. Just look at this. First, get fx. Once you get everything, write mean summation fx upon summation f. Write this value, this value here. Mean ka value here. Solve automatically frequency f ka value you will get. Okay. Let's hit it. Hundred. Stop. Stop. Stop copying. Two twenty. Five hundred twenty. Twenty. Two twenty. Five eighty. Sixty f. Five fives are twenty five, thirty three twenty five, two eighty, three seven threes are twenty one. Okay, let's add all this. When you add, don't add sixty f. Okay, because that's a variable. So you have to keep this separate as plus sixty f and add everything else. Okay, so first number is five plus three eight, two ten. Don't take this one into consideration. So box it so that you don't add it only. Ten twenty one. So two. Uh, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 1, 7, 1, 8. Let's add this. So this f is going to be separate. 10, 28 plus f. Let's recheck this. 8, 8 plus 4, 12, 12 plus 4, 16, 17, 18, 28, 28 plus f. So now my mean is 60.95 equals to 1, 7, 1, 8 plus 60 f upon 28 plus f. You'll have to cross multiply again. Loads of calculations. Let's check. So 28 into 60.95. Let me take a rough sheet and see what I can calculate. So 60.95 into 28. 8 fives are 40. 72, 76, 7, 48. 5 twos are 10, 18, 19, 1, and 12. So I get 0, 6, 16, 10, 4, 5, 6, and 1, 7, 1. So 1706.60. So I get 1706.60. Opening it, so plus 60.95f. This multiplied with this equals to 1718 plus 60f. So this 60f goes on the other side, subtract. So I get just 0.95f. And this comes on this side, and again we subtract. So you'll get 11.40. See six. 0.60 plus 11.40 will be 18. Am I correct? 11 plus 6, 17 and 1, 18. So finally my f will be 1140 upon 95. Remove the two decimals and let's see if we are able to cancel it. So I think this will go in the table of 7, uh, 19 fives are and 19 six are. Am I right? 6 nines are 54. Yeah, correct. 5 ones are 5 twelves are. So therefore the answer of this frequency missing value is 12. Enjoying? I know a lot of calculations, but don't worry. By the time we reach the second exercise, you will get pro with it. And in the exam, they don't give such difficult questions. Right now, they're preparing you. The exam, it will be slightly simpler. Slightly. Okay. Let's go to the last one. Two missing variables. So this is sum number 13 with two missing variables. Can you see that? So two extra data will be provided to you. So the first data provided to you is the value of mean. So they say the mean ka value in this sum number 13 is 73 and they are telling you summation f that is the total of all the frequencies is 200. So this total is going to be 200 
obviously not here but otherwise how to use this data i will teach you don't worry so first use your normal method fx so 0 50 f1 100 f2 uh, 15 uh, 25 5 125 12 so 405 i guess 0 am i right 15 5 75 7 no that's wrong that's wrong that's wrong 15 5 125 so 12 25 3750 this is going to be 2000 and uh, 1250 let's add so 3 4 5000 6 7000 7000 plus 50 f1 plus 100 f2 likewise 25 30 40 86 plus f1 plus f2 now you can start from here that summation f is 200 which is also equal to 86 plus f1 plus f2 can we recheck this 86 20 30 40 86 yeah 86 comes on the other side f1 plus f2 is equal to 114 what are we going to do now you know yes simultaneous equations come on let's work it out so we just got one equation now. how to get the second one so i will say mean summation fx upon summation f so how are you going to apply mean is how much they have already given 73 so mean is 73 summation fx is this entire thing 7000 am i right 2 3 4 5 6 i'm getting 6 3 4 5 6 and 1 7000 so 7000 plus 50 f1 plus 100 f2 divided by summation f summation f you can take this or this obviously which is easier you decide 200 is easier no so use 200 cross multiply 3 2s are 6 uh, 3 2s are 6 7 2s are 14 and 2 zeros is equal to 7000 plus 50 f1 plus 100 f2 this goes on the other side so i get 50 f1 plus 100 f2 equals to 7600 divide by 50 so f1 2 f2 0 goes 5 1s are 5 2 26 5 5 za and 2 za am i right 5 2 za 10 25 26 5 1 za 5 6 7 so i got my second equation only till now i use the two equations get f1 and f2 so let me do it here i'm trying to save pages guys because i don't have a lot of pages and we are not getting pages right now so please bear with the work f1 to f2 152 and f1 f2 114 so subtracting all signs change this goes off i get f2 here the difference is uh, 6 plus 2 8 4 so 38 38 is what i am getting f2 how will i get f1 so f1 plus f2 114 correct so f1 will be 114 minus 38 so my f1 in this case should be how much 8 minus this so 6 uh, this should be 8 so 7 76 so I get the two F's, 38 and 76. Add and see if it is becoming 114. 14, 10 and 1, 11. Let me check if we are correct. So this was some number 13. 13, 76, 38. Perfect. Both the answers are correct. So just quick recap in this khichdi. I am so sorry. First Fx, summation Fx, summation F. Use the first equation with summation F as 200 and the summation f you have got you will get the first equation then use the formula in the formula over here don't substitute this substitute 200 99 percent children substitute this and they go mad calculating it you will get the answer with this also but it is going to be very tough this is easier so use this technique you will get the second equation apply simultaneous to get the two values so what did we basically learn in this entire module today so we learned five things i hope you remember them number one the three methods to calculate mean direct assume mean also called shortcut and step deviation one missing variable two missing variables correct homework time i want you to do these sums as homework 8 9 10 and 12 only four sums i'm giving i hope you are doing all the sums with me with the video you are enjoying it hope you had a lovely mathematics experience with a rough book 
a learning companion. Hope you had a lovely mathematics experience with a rough book, a learning companion.